Hey folks, this is Chris Neesmith, The Change Agent. I'm excited. There's a lot of great things happening here in Rochester, New York this week. We have Tiger Woods in town with the PGA Golf Tournament. We have the Buffalo Bills training camp taking place this week. So there's a lot of buzz, a lot of traffic here in the Rochester, New York area. And that leads me into the topic I want to talk about this uh, today is the importance of having the right mindset. You know, to be one of the elite of the elite whether you're on the golf course or on the um, football field or in your office, being a professional, you want to make sure you have the right mindset. You know, as an elite athlete, you're very conscious of what you put into your body, you know, the food, your supplements, and being a professional, you want to be very conscious of what you're putting in your mind. You know, Brian Tracy likes to say, you want to feed your mind constantly with rich mental protein. The books you're reading, the MP3s you're listening to, the CDs you're listening to, you want to make sure it's always something expi inspiring or uplifting because that affects you daily. You know, one of my mentors a long time ago, he told me that, you know, when you're in the car, you want to turn your car into a mobile university. Anytime you're in your car, you want something constantly playing that's uplifting, motivational, inspirational, educational because you spend so much time there and you can pretty much get the equivalent of a degree or a certification by how much time you spend in your car and what you're listening to when you start compounding that over the next few months and the next few years. So think about that for a moment. And as professional, you know, we have our downtime and there's nothing wrong with having downtime. You know, you might want to watch television, but a lot of people refer to television as the electronic income reducer. And here's why. Because the information that you're watching is feeding your subconscious even when you're not aware of it. The movies you're watching, I'm a big movie buff, so I love movies, especially based on comic book heroes. But there is some underlining messages that's being delivered that's feeding your subconscious that you might not be aware of. Think about this example for a moment. Let's say you want to be financially independent. You want to be wealthy. You want to be a top producing entrepreneur. You want to be, you know, super rich if that's what your goal is, what you define success as. And you're watching a movie like, let's say Spider-Man. Think about the message in Spider-Man. You got Peter Parker, the nice guy, this poor guy, always down on his luck. And he's being attacked and harassed by this rich billionaire business owner. And this guy is just pure downright evil and trying to take out Peter Parker. So when you think about that concept, you got the poor defending themselves, trying to fight off the rich. And if you desire to become rich or wealthy, you might have an inner conflict taking place. Because you're saying to yourself, I'm a nice guy. I would never take advantage of anyone. And you see a movie like that and you say, well, is that how rich people behave? Is that the behavior of a wealthy individual? That's not me. Well, if I'm going to act like that when I become rich and wealthy, then I don't want any parts of that. I don't, I don't need to be wealthy or rich then because if that's how I'm going to act, I don't like taking advantage of people. So... On one side of the equation, you want to become wealthy and financially independent. And on the second side of the equation, you're thinking being rich is going to be, uh, mean you're turning into someone that's going to take advantage of people. You're going to be evil. Uh, they say m money is the root of all evil and you don't want any association to that. So now you got an inner conflict happening while you're trying to perceive and, you know, reach your goals. Another example is a blockbuster hit from many years ago, and I just watched it for the first time a few months ago, the movie Titanic. Think about the message in that. Look at how the well-to-do, the well-off individuals behaved. And look how they treated, or should I say mistreated, the individuals who were less fortunate. And that right there feeds your mind subconsciously, even when you're not aware of it, of the, the behavior and how you perceive rich people. And I can, I can attest to that growing up and I can attest to talking to individuals and they say, well, yeah, that's how all rich people are. Well, no, they're not. I'm around wealthy individuals all the time and that's not how they behave. 
most of the ones that I'm around are compassionate, giving, loving people that want to give back, that want to teach and mentor and share their vision and share their experiences with individuals to help uplift them and help them have the success that they have. That's what I see. That's what I'm around. But when you're watching a show or a movie that's giving off that message, you can kind of have a conflict going on. So be aware of what's feeding your subconscious mind. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with watching television, but just be mindful of what's going in. Turn it off. Pick up a good book. Listen to a good audio that can help you achieve the goals you're looking for. That'll help you maneuver and work the most powerful computer on this planet. That's the six inches between your two ears. This is Chris Neesmith, the Change Agent, checking in with a quick message. Look forward to talking to you soon. Make this your week. Talk to you again.